What is going on YouTube viewers and subscribers, Jay Silver from SNN Tech and today I have a Galaxy S4 Top 5 app. Now, in today's Top 5 app, I'm going to demonstrate the app that I mostly use on my newer uh, Galaxy S4 and I'm going to start with app number one. This app is called Floating Notification. Have you ever been to like a, like let's say like a game application and you get notified? I mean, you may still feel the vibration or you may feel that the notifications and the the, the notification bar is just not enough. You want something to grab your attention a lot more. Well, this is where floating notification come in. I thought it was a pretty unique and kind of out of the ordinary app and it kind of caught my eye. And I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. So, say for an example, you have, uh, you're playing Fun Run multiplayer or Words with Friends. Anything that you get at the text message is not gonna display. It may vibrate, it may make the ringtone sound and let you know, but it's not gonna pop up in your face. With floating notifications, when you get a notification from an icon, it pops right up on the app as a little icon as you see. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration from my Galaxy Note 2. Let me show you right here. And I'm going to demonstrate how an email pops up while whatever I'm doing. So say I'm using my phone, using my phone, blah, 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 blah. Let's give an example. Let's just go into the game um, uh, Riptide, right? So I'm, I'm sitting here playing Riptide, yada, yada, yada. I'm having fun with Riptide. And then that email comes right in. And I'm going to demonstrate and send myself the email right now. And I'm going to hit send. And as you witness, a floating notification should pop right up. Now I just even myself right there and it pops in right here. Now with a floating notification, you can move it anywhere you like across the screen if it's in the way or if it's not in the way, you can double tap to see the, the content of that, which is my name. And if you tap on JSO, which is, this is actually a Gmail, the G, it'll open up the Gmail. Now if I want to, I can double tap the icon to get rid of the floating notification. So let's tap into it and boom, open up my email and it shows, you know, this is a uh, floating notification app demo. That's what I just sent you guys for my Galaxy Note 2. And as you can see right here. So that's how that's going to work. So I thought that was a pretty neat app. And also if you like, you can go inside the floating notification settings and you can also tweak some options like the size of the icon or if you want every app to, to um, pop up as a floating notification or if you want specific apps. You can go into the app uh, notification manager and you can select which apps you want to have floating notifications pop up for or if you do not select anything, the application will automatically select every single app to to give you a pop-up and a floating notification. So far, I'm just demonstrating Gmail, so that's the only one I have notified, but most, more than likely I use my text messenger and my, my Google Plus, I use that a lot, and obviously my email. So, that's floating notification, and I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And that's a pretty sweet app. Now, let's move on to app number two. This app is called Super Beam Wi-Fi Direct. Now, as you know, we have all have uh, the latest and greatest Android devices, whether it be a Galaxy S3, a Galaxy Note 2, a HTC One, a HTC One X, blah, blah, blah. You know, any NFC-enabled device. Now, particularly when you're sending files to NFC, it's a pain in behind because you have to go to the Wi-Fi settings, scroll down, and you have to hit Wi-Fi, and then you go down and I think you hit you hit Wi-Fi Direct. That's kind of a like it's it's a very it's an annoyance. Why do I, why do I have to do all that? to enable Wi-Fi Direct. Now let's demonstrate how this is going to work. Now I'm going to zoom the camera out. Now we're going to bring in my Galaxy Note 2. Now we're going to select my file manager, right? I'm going to hit back because I was previously in my file manager and I want to select a few files I want to send, right? Say these couple of images right here, saved on the, the phone's memory slot. So I want to select them. One, two, three, four. What else do I have in here? Okay, just so far in this folder, these down images. Now I'm going to hit share, and I'm going to go to Super Beam. If you can see that right there. What Super Beam is going to do, now it's going to ask me, is there any other Wi-Fi directly on this network? I'm going to hit yes. Boom, now that uh, my phone, my Galaxy S4 and Galaxy S2 is connected, now you're going to open up the Super Beam download on my Galaxy S4. And it's going to bring up the camera, and it's going to scan the QR code. Boom, once it hit the scan, now you place it on the side and the transfer will begin instantly. Simple, fast, easy. It's completed and it's, on, it's, it's only images file. So now that I scroll for my notification bar, I click Super Beam has been completed, click the notification and voila, these are all the pictures that were sent from my Galaxy Note 2 to my Galaxy S4. Works simple, fine, no problem. And just to give you an example, that's the, the right picture, it's this image right here. Image number 2022. If I click that, same exact image just to prove to you. Now I'm also going to show you another unique way Superbeam can be used. 
you're gonna go about it in the same manner. You're gonna go into your file manager and you're gonna select whatever you're gonna send. Same as always, you know, video, photo, music. This time I'm gonna go to audio file and I'm gonna show you my Galaxy Note 2. I'm gonna send the song Love Song by Rihanna featuring Future just to give you a demonstration of the song. I'm just gonna quickly play it. Play music, hit just once, just to let you hear the sound. All right, you hear the sound? I'm gonna transfer this song. That song does not exist on my Galaxy S4. Same, now I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna hit the share button. Not delete, sorry. You're gonna hit the share button. Select Superbeam as well. It's gonna ask me the same question as it's connected on the same Wi-Fi network. You're gonna hit yes. It asked me to give me the rating. I hit not now. Now the QR code has popped up. Now instead of this time, instead of opening the Superbeam app on my Galaxy S4, I'm going to touch the back of the phones and I'm going to beam it right over. There we go. Now once you touch the two phones together, it starts to send instantly. Boom, and since it's a short file to send, it's sent it instantly. Now, let's check in my Galaxy S4's notification bar, and you can see Super Beam has been completed right at the top there. And now I'm going to click on it, tap to view details, and it's exactly the same song in which I told you I was going to send. Rihanna, love song feature and feature, and to, hit to test it out, same exact song has been transferred right over. So. That's a pretty unique way to take use of Wi-Fi Direct, and quite frankly, I think Google should implement something similar when they release Keylon Pods and, uh, as a much more user-friendly way to send you know, files through Wi-Fi. Alrighty, next up, we have app number three, Torrent Pro. Now, this will cost you about, I believe, $3. Don't quote me on that. I bought this a while ago in the Google Play Store. It is not free, but you know, I don't mind paying for apps, especially that I, if I enjoy some specific apps, and pretty much, this is like another version to A Downloader. If you watched one of my previous top five apps on my other devices, you would know what A Downloader is. And I decided to go with Torrent Pro. With this one, it has it, it seems to be much more organized than A Downloader. And this is gonna be the first. I didn't. I didn't. This is gonna be the first time you open that uninstall it to reinstall it for you guys to show how you go about searching for stuff. Transdroid Torrent Search is not installed. You want to hit yes to install it. You're gonna have to. That's how you're gonna search for it in a user friendly way to download it. You're gonna click install. Go to the install process. Now you hit done, and pretty much it's gonna enable you to search for keywords of certain torrent files. So let's give an example. I watched this anime called One Piece, so we're gonna just type that in. And it looks through the website ISO Hunt, and you're gonna get all type of you know files to search for One Piece that I've that, that I typed in. Also shows the number of seeders and leechers, just like any other torrent program may go about doing so. And let's just select the first search results. Now hit downloading torrent. It's gonna save the file, whatever you direct it to, you know, SD card slash torrent. That's the folder that it defaultly gives you. You can change that if you want to. Decision is up to you. Hit download, let the file download, and you can obviously just minimize your phone and do about go about your business while it downloads in the background. Completely and totally up to you. I wouldn't really recommend this doing this out in the street. I mean, you you can, but it's going to be taxing your 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 signal, and you know, depending if you go inside certain structures like buildings with heavy metal and the network that you in, the, your your data signal will bounce. But it's just a convenience as opposed to using your computer to download torrent files. You can use this. Like I said, I feel this is a, a lot more. The, I feel like this interface. It's much neater and much organized than A-Download. A-Download, I like it, but I feel like the user interface can use some updates. It is free if you want to go to the free or A-Download, but I just prefer Torrent Pro, in my opinion. So that's app number three on my top five Galaxy S4 apps. And we're going to go with app number four now. App number four is called Everything Pro. This is a beta app, and it's quite frankly another launcher, like uh, launch Nova Launcher and uh, Action Launcher, which I'm using here, as you can see. And what this thing is supposed to do is supposed to like a, it's supposed to make your phone everything for which you search. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but let me just demonstrate it. All right, so let's click Everything Pro. Now it opens up into a launcher, and it'll ask you what's on your mind. Um, I have One Piece on my mind. Let's try that again. So let's search One Piece. <laughs> it, it actually searched the word "search One Piece," but see now it'll pop up everything. You want to make sync your phone dynamic? I'll do that later. Now it'll pop up everything One Piece related. It'll give me Amazon results. It'll give me eBay results. It'll even change my background wallpaper to be One Piece. It'll show me Wikipedia One Piece. It'll show me everything related to the search topic of which I just searched. That's cool and everything, right? Let's just say I'm in a mood for uh, hit clear results. Let's say uh, MacBook Pro. 
Once again, it's gonna load up the wallpaper of a MacBook Pro, and it's gonna give me all type of uh, results for MacBook Pro. Up top, which is the first couple apps, may be these are the applications related to, to your search for MacBook Pro, which is I have an eBay app installed and an Amazon app installed, and I probably have a text conversation with a friend in the messenger, that's why that pop up. Below it, these are all web results. So if you have apps that's related to, let's say whatever you're searching for, that application will pop up first. So say if you pop up a song, you have an app called Metro Lyrics. Metro Lyrics would be in a, the application search results of Everything Pro. You get what I mean? Let's just type in another song. Let's just say Instagram. And it'll give me everything Instagram related. Now this time, it popped up for Twitter. It popped up for Tapa Talk. It pops up the actual Instagram app. It also popped up a text cutie Instagram text. I don't know what the hell that is. And uh, just unfollow Twitter Instagram. I don't know. And for the fifth and final app of the Galaxy S4 top five app is Envy. Now this is a third party text messaging program that replaces my stock messenger. And the reason I have it replaced and also you see that missing icon in the dock is because I was very impressed by Envy. Envy is a unique app and the way it's set up. Now usually when anybody download a third party app from the, the Play Store, usually you're gonna have to go into your stock messenger and disable the notification from the stock messenger else you'll get two notifications, one in the third party, one in the first, you know, one in the stock. That's kind of annoying. Envy has the convenience of doing that for you automatically. Also, when you register, the application is gonna tell you to put a profile photo for which, you know, when you get a message, it's gonna show the, the your profile photo to the person who may also have Envy installed and also a cover photo, which is nice, a, a nicely unique, uh, let's say cover photo in the inbox for, for that person, personal choice. Blah, 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 right? So, when I open the app, it's gonna go straight to a text, you know, to a text message that Envy sends you once you have it installed. And they're demonstrating how a photo and how a YouTube video looks. Now, these are the two primary reasons that I actually use this to replace. First of all, aesthetically, this program looks worlds apart compared to any of the third party text messaging programs. I mean, it may not be as customizable, let's say like Chomp SMS. But I like the fact that, let's say if I send a picture, right? It's, it comes in nice and faded like that. You click it, it gives you the option to share the picture on Facebook. You get the share icon to, to go anywhere with, which you want for it. You can click the expand icon to expand it, move it around, blah, blah, blah. And also you hit the, I guess you want to forward to other people on your text messenger app. Now, no, we'll say, let's say if a person sends you a YouTube video. Now, this, this is what I thought was very unique, right? This YouTube video they have shown me is a... Coldplay Paradise acapella cover, right? This is what's in the fault. Now I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna play it. Now the video comes up top the messenger and it's gonna play as you can still text a person. You can still text and read while the video plays up top. And I thought, hey, that's very unique. So if I send a friend, you know, a video, hey, check out my uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, they can watch the video while we're still in text conversation. And like, hey, did you see that part at, uh, at one minute and 50 seconds, blah, blah, blah. They can say, hey, it was, it was great, it was epic, it was cool. You know, and it, and it pops up right then and there. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Now you hit back to back out of it. Now I'm going to move us to the side. I'm going to go to a friend messenger and show you some other features, whatever. All right. Now, check this one out. All right. Now this is my buddy up here. Now his name is Faded Away. Now this is his cover photo. The cover photo he chose to show as his cover photo. And if I don't like his cover photo, I can back out. I can long press on the inbox for his message and change it. You get what I mean? Now if you, if you notice at the bottom here, he does not have the envy he has a i'm sorry he does have this program installed now this application will tell you whether a person have the envy messenger installed himself or not when you create a message it'll give you the option to use envy which is free messenger it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't go to your carrier if you pay for text messaging which nobody usually does anyway and you can select between using a regular sms which goes to the carrier or the envy's messenger now preferably you want to use the envy messenger to get the features as the Google Hangouts. Say for example, this little eye right here, if he's in here, it'll show you that he's just recently read the message. The eye will pop up saying he's in the inbox reading your message right now. And also when he responds to a message, three little dots in a Google Hangout manner will start to pop up noting, letting you know that he's responding back to the message. And that's a pretty cool way to do it. Also, I mean, if I can demonstrate, if I, if I could right now, if somebody was to message me, when you get a, a, a message or somebody sends you a message, uh, the icon pops up with their profile photo at the bottom of the device in a similar fashion to floating notification that I showed you earlier. And you can quick reply by swiping across to the right to quickly reply or swipe to the left to, to swipe away. So that's, that's a way of envy, you know, showing. Also, it also works with articles. So say for example, I'm going to go to my web browser, right? I'm going to go to my web browser and this article right here of um, Final Fantasy. 
I'm going to copy that URL link and I'm going to go back to Envy to the same person I'm going to paste that URL link inside the messenger I'm going to hit send and the link pops up in an article so just like that so now instead of him having a hyper thread of you know HTTP double semicolon slash slash www blah 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 right you have the the RSS feed of the picture and you have a little brief description of the article right then and there and you know if you untap it it'll fade it back away in the messenger he'll get that article as well I don't know if he'll respond back to it it looks pretty unique it's very it's very aesthetically pleasing and also like I said you can share you can forward it you can also expand it now when you hit the little expand button it's going to give you the option to go to any web browser you may have installed go to NX Explorer this is what he will be doing and this article will load right up oh and I also almost forgot to mention that this icon has emojis so if you are uh, in a text field where you would obviously tap at the bottom to start your messages you swipe across to the right swipe across the right and boom a whole bunch of icon emojis pop up so for you emoji fans out there you are more than covered with this category I mean they're not really important to me but it's actually pretty cool that it's, it's built in here and if I'm correct these are the iPhone em emojis so go figure also you'll notice next to the text field there's a little plus button a little plus button this is where you can also send it in you know I guess the button way the YouTube videos a picture from the gallery a camera picture also coming soon if you can notice on the side a contact photo and music I wonder how that's gonna work once the update is implemented now when you look in the inbox of the, of the MV messenger you're gonna see a few things right you see these these bright beautiful uh, you know cover photos these are assigned randomly per per contact that does not have the messenger if a person has the message they will personally select their own cover photo if not the messenger will assign it randomly if they put a, if a person puts a cover photo or you don't like the random photo that the NV messenger has selected you can always just long press and you can change you can call you can use the default or you can delete the chat altogether and up top is your cover photo which is a picture of one piece that I like so much also if you want to let's say if you want to write a new message to a new person you're gonna hit the you know add a new person contact to write a photo up to the top upper right and it'll tell you like the status of that person contact so if a person has the NV message themselves it'll have that little icon right next to it right if they don't have it and it's just a regular text program or whatever you scroll over I just, I'm just gonna kinda block the number right there use it's gonna say SMS meaning that number or that person does not have the messenger installed so therefore you won't get the features as knowing that they read the message or you won't get the feature as seeing the person you know typing like like in a Google Hangout manner so you 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 won't get that feature but it's good to know that it, the, the program automatically distinguishes that for you also you can change little things between light and dark mode in the settings hit the settings icon up top and you can also between the team the theme which is the default I guess the white theme and you can switch over to the black theme you know you can also change your chat photo and your cover photo like I told you before you have the notification settings the SMS settings the chat settings and advanced settings I'm not gonna really get into those as you can explore that once you download and install the app yourself but let me just demonstrate how the uh, let me demonstrate how the black mode looks now I'm gonna go back into the Envy messenger itself and look how everything becomes nice and dark this this particularly I believe they cater to you know AMOLED Pan, uh, AMOLED screens because you know AMOLED saves battery and look better with darker colors as opposed to any other device so, you know it's optional I, I mean it's cool I don't really like it so much it looks a little too dark for my taste I'd rather just a regular default white theme but to each his own so that's my top five apps for the Galaxy S4 I hope you guys enjoyed any questions that you may or any, any questions about any of the specific apps that I missed out on feel free to write a comment in the comment section also to give you guys a quick heads up for the fifth and final app I had actually two more apps I was debating to give you guys in this uh, video and it was the the Google stock keyboard which you know anybody knows Google recently put that in the Play Store and something called Mighty Tech so if you're curious about those two apps also write a comment in the comment section below and I'll do a separate app video for those two specific apps Jay Silver from S and Tech, and I'm out, y'all. Later.